I wrote this out yeah, yesterday, guys, so I can explain to you what my confidence coaching is, how it works, and especially on the one year program, if any of you are interested in making a commitment to overcome your social anxiety, build your confidence, achieve your goals, and live what I call a successful and a meaningful life. So let me just read this out. These are all the details, bear with me. So what do I teach my clients in the one year confidence coaching program? I teach them how to overcome social anxiety and build confidence by getting them to create a long-term vision and set specific short and long-term goals. Then we create accountability every week for my clients to complete. The accountability uh, takes place in, in two different forms. One in person, when we sit down and do the confidence coaching sessions over a nice coffee in a nice hotel, a nice park place. Then the second accountability is an email. Some of my clients do it every day or every week. Make sure they're on top of their goals, dreams and their vision. If you want to live a successful and a meaningful life, um, then you need a good level of confidence to do so. Okay, so here's some things. So I've gone on to say, you know, if you're not committed, I just can't work with you because it just won't work from experience. So you have to be committed and a coach can't give you commitment. He can motivate you and inspire you, but you know, Les Brown couldn't give me commitment, but his story inspired me. It got to my heart, it made me cry, and it made me find commitment in myself. And then I was able to change my life thanks to hearing Les Brown's story. On the one year program, there's lots of things that I specialize in. Simple, basic things that are life-changing if practiced consistently. Habits. Habits are what build confidence, discipline, accountability, and success. All those things I teach on a one-year program. The one-year commitment encompasses all those things because you've got to have discipline, as you guys know. To do anything for one year consistently, you've got to be a disciplined person. You've got to at least choose to be disciplined. That takes a lot of strength. So, this is an example of how I would help a client on my one year program to build discipline, especially if they're struggling, right? Some of my clients are already disciplined in some areas, but lacking in others, some are struggle everywhere. So, once, once my client can stick to a simple habit, like cleaning his apartment every day, and making it become like part of his personality and being passionate, you know, doing it with love, not doing it with hate and resentment, but getting to a space where it becomes natural and he enjoys doing it because it's, it's self-respect. You feel good when you do it, when you complete a task and it increases self-esteem. So once a client's able to do that, then we can step up. This is where confidence coaching comes in and I can help him to start building habits in bigger areas, i.e training in the gym, losing weight and eating a healthier diet. That's, that's one example. Another example is building a successful coaching business, making money, making an impact, doing what you love. So public events, selling talks, teaching, like what my client Phil was doing. He's doing events and he's changing men and women's lives and he's getting paid to do what he loves. So that takes discipline. You know, discipline is courage. Discipline is facing fear. Discipline is being accountable. Discipline is getting comfortable being uncomfortable. Discipline is a habit. It's repetition. So whether you're practicing discipline with cleaning your apartment, or eating healthy, or going to the gym and training boxing, MMA, or weights, or running, or whatever regime that you take part in, or you're practicing the discipline of speaking at a public event and inspiring people and changing their lives and sharing your story, all these things requ require discipline. Of course, they're different areas, and there's different skills and some people might not associate, oh, what's cleaning my apartment got to do with being a successful businessman? Everything. If you can't clean your apartment, how the hell are you going to run a business? How are you going to maintain it? How are you going to deal with the challenges, both financially, accounting, mentally, emotionally, and changing people's lives? How can you change people's lives and help them to be disciplined if you're not disciplined? You've got to lead by example. Got passionate then, didn't I? So all my confidence coaching programs, including the one year program, teach my committed clients how to become confident and successful in all areas of life. I generally get my clients to focus on these areas of their life which are most meaningful to them. Here's an example. Spending time with their family, spending time with their friends, going to the gym and eating healthy, working on their business or their career or their larger vision, 
looking for a meaningful relationship with their ideal woman. Some of my clients have already got their ideal woman, some of them haven't, they're just an example. These are some of the areas that I coach and specialize in and help men to be confident and successful in. In no chronological order, relationships, fitness and diet, career and business, creativity and focus, communication skills. These are some of the areas, they're amazing as you guys know, pretty much they're all the areas that anyone wants to be successful in, especially to live a successful and a meaningful life. So what is confidence coaching? Well I can give you some explanations, pretty straightforward. Confidence coaching is about giving support to a committed client, giving them support towards helping them move forward to make progress to achieve their goals and their vision. Confidence coaching is a skilled conversation that is honest, kind, supportive, inspirational, motivational and tailored towards the client's specific goals, needs and vision. I just went on to say I've got 11 years experience coaching clients from all around the world. During that time I've learned a lot about people, what their needs are and, and how to get results. It's very simple and it starts off with an individual being committed. Before we even speak about a conversation about you working with me or me coaching you, you have to be committed and that has to come from you. And if you're asking me, well how, how, how? you've got to figure it out. What is your purpose? You know, what, what is meaningful to you? It's different for everyone. It's different. For some people it's faith. For me it was my faith. It was wanting to prove to the people that put me down that it's not true what they said about me and I can go on and be confident and successful. And it was important to me. And there were certain goals I wanted to achieve. So it's all, it's all about you. I can't give that to you. That's, that's nothing to do with me. It's everything to do with you. So when you're committed, that's when I can do my job. Just going on to give you a bit more information about the session. So the confidence coaching sessions are two hours. We meet every week and we sit down over coffee and I coach you and I help you to move towards your vision and your specific goals. It's a team effort. So the more committed you are to making progress and building confidence and discipline and achieving your goals, the more committed I am to giving you the mental and emotional support in my experience to help you to get there. It's a team effort. Confidence coaching is about supporting a committed client to moving forward in their life and helping them to make positive progress. Progress is so important, I'm going to do a separate video on that. I've come to realise people need both mental and emotional support to consistently face their fears and live a successful and meaningful life. Coaching is not forever, although it can be in some relationships but generally not in the way I've done it. It's for a specific time period where a person needs to grow and learn new skills and to be able to do new things confidently until they can do it on their own without a coach. And that's the job that I love doing. I teach all my clients the tools so that when, you know, when they're ready to go their separate ways and live their life, they've got the tools. They can always make money, they can always make friends, they can always be kind, they can always be a good person and they can always get in shape. If they don't do it, it's down to them. But I, nonetheless, I leave them with the skills those life skills, business skills, relationship skills, training, fitness, everything that I've learned and continue to learn. Right, where are we? This is a lot of fun actually, for all the school teachers that put me down and said I was dumb, I was stupid, I couldn't read out, you know, thanks a lot because now I'm doing it. For the ones of you that, that love me and supported me, I love you as well, I appreciate it. Right. Getting a coach is a very smart investment and it takes a lot of courage, I really respect it. All successful people have had coaches, mentors, including myself. If you're committed to signing up for my one year program, well I've said it, this is on Instagram, yeah, send me an email in the box below and we'll have a phone call. Easy going, right? I can't promise I'm going to work with you and you can't promise that you're going to work with me. Let's have a conversation. I won't charge you for that, it'll be half an hour over the phone or on Zoom and let's see if you're committed and if I can, if I can work with you and you get on with me and we can work together. A few things here about my coaching style and what I do. So these are questions I get from people. How do you coach your clients and what happens in the sessions? Well, I coach my clients by first listening to their challenges and their needs. And then I help them to create a vision and specific goals um, that they want to achieve. I then coach them and help them to face their fears, build their confidence and achieve their goals and vision. You know, coaching is uh, communicating. Com my confidence coaching is a conversation. Um, at times it's a relationship you know, between coach and student, or sometimes even friends, 
sometimes not. It's a connection. It's a positive and transformational story which is very different to your everyday conversation that most people have between themselves. Confidence coaching uh, is designed, it's a skilled conversation towards helping a person to create positive change in their life. I wrote every, every bit of this is wrote from my heart, my experience. Most people are not happy and they lack confidence because they don't have the right relationships in their life. This is why it's so important to have good relationships if you want to be confident, happy, successful and live a meaningful life. My confidence coaching teaches you how to communicate better and how to be a better person and kinder and be a person of value. I really thought about my client. I love this guy I'm working with. I'm quite sad. It's last session tomorrow. He's doing my six week program. He asked me, he said, Jonathan, I want to be a person of value towards others. How can I do that? So the first way you do that is by being kind. That's pretty much all of it. But to add on to that, be honest and also work on yourself, you know, gym, your appreciation, your vision, you know, the more confident and happy you are and the more that your values are intact. He's doing it, he's got great values, it was easy to work with him. So, you've already got loads of lessons in that. Even for those of you that are not ready to commit to my program, I've just given you everything. What are you going to do with it though? Because I thought about this today and I know it's hard, I've done it as well, men. A lot of pride men have, a lot of ego at times and that's what holds them back, that's what hurts you because you think you know everything and you think you can't learn anything. Well, you probably probably know a lot but you probably apply very little. We, we know eating a healthy diet is important. We know our attitude towards other people is important, how they treat us back. We know that, you know, if we want to be confident and have a great relationship, we've got to get ourselves right. But many men don't do it. Why? Because it takes commitment. And commitment takes courage. And courage means suffering. It means sacrifice. It means doing it when you don't feel like it. And it means, you know, being judged. Not everyone's going to like you. You've got to deal with it. And still having the character to not be hateful back and still treat people how you want to be treated. It's everything. Hard work, dedication. There's no other way around it. You're only cheating yourself. So that's why I only, I only work with committed clients. When I first started out, I tried to please everyone. I coached anyone. And, it, and it, you know, it, put me into, it, it probably gave me a mental health breakdown. But that was a blessing in disguise anyway. So I started to get a lot stricter, which I have over the years. And you know, I'll, I'll help anyone on my free videos. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome to get the information. It's all there. But for people who want to work me and do paid coaching, my life, I was going to say, yeah, life is short. My time's precious, so is yours. So I don't waste my time with people that are not committed. It just ends up giving me a headache. And then I'm going to have to go and get a therapist myself. So if you're committed, I'd love to work with you. Send me an email in the box below. And um, I'm going to do more videos. I've got a couple of questions you guys wrote in that I'll answer in the next video. All right? Have a great day, guys. Appreciate your support, all right? Fearless.